so it's your girl April and today's video is going to be another sleigh. This one is a lace front unit by RPGshow.com. As you guys see, I did sew in the last band which was provided. This does have the two combs in the front, the comb and the nape, the adjustable strap. It does come in this cute bag and also extra lace. So I'm going to be using some super tape and also some got to be glue for this unit. It is 20 inches and it is by Sam. I'll definitely link all of the information below. You can also take $40 off with the coupon code. So let's get into this. As you guys see, this is my hairline and I do have on my wig cap also. And I'm just going to do this in the beginning, which is I'm just going to spray the little bit of hairs back onto the unit. So that way, when it's time to get to just putting it on and just adhering it, none of the hairs are in my way. Prior to this, I did pluck the hairline a little bit. However, it does come pre-plucked. So if you're not into plucking the hairline, then you really don't have to do so but I just took a little bit of extra steps because I did want it to look as natural as possible so you guys as you guys seen I am going to go ahead and use my clips just to hold down the hair so that way I don't cut any of it the lace is a B cap it is 20 inches and it is heavy density which is 200% density you guys know I love me some hair so I'm going to just go and cut a little bit off by the ear tabs because sometimes these units can be a little bit too big for us but this one wasn't really too big or too spacey so I didn't really have to take off much so now it's actually a very comfortable fit it's perfect now on to cutting the lace around the hair perimeter normally I don't do this on camera but for the sake of this video I'm gonna go ahead and cut it on to the hairline or closest to my hairline as possible you want to make sure to use small scissors and just take your time so that way you don't cut your own hair or any hairs of the wig I'm just going to trim up some excess lace or extra lace just a little bit pieces I'm going to try and get it as close as possible to my own natural hairline. I don't want it to be too close to my hairline, meaning I don't want it to be too far back because listen, I'm not trying to lose any bit of hairs that I already don't have. Now, just to clean the surface of my skin, I only use witch hazel. I don't like to use rubbing alcohol because that can dry your skin up and you don't really need anything harsh or abrasive onto your skin. Also, as a scalp protection, I'm going to be using Walker Scalp Protection. This will also help as a barrier on your skin it'll also allow the tape glue or gel to sit properly and for a longevity of time this will help with humidity sweat or water but like I said it also allows the actual units tape or glue to just adhere to your skin you want to allow that to dry for a minute and then you can go ahead and proceed on so now what I'm doing is I'm just going to see where I want this lace to be positioned at so I'm going to take myself a just a makeup pencil and I'm just going to put some lines because this is where I want to put the glue at or the gel or the tape sometimes you know we can get a little bit past the hairline it will have excess glue or gel onto our skin which is an easy fix but just to make things a lot easier for myself I'm just going to outline the unit of where I'm going to be placing the glue or gel or tape at now I'm just going to protect my thin edges as you guys can see because this unit is going to be on for a few days and I want to make sure that my hair is moist or moisturized. So I'm going to be using some of my Dr. Miracles Edge and um, Edge Tamer or not Edge Tamer but just Edge Growth and I'm also going to be using the Strength and Grow and Restore Gel by Ashe Moisture and this is just to make sure that my hair has all the moisture that it needs as well as that as it also will slick it back. Now this is the wig cap that I'm going to be using first and this one is not as colorful or excuse me does not match my actual scalp as close as possible so I'm also going to be using this one here. I do like to cut the middles out or the top out that way if you do cut the, the top of the lace or the, excuse me the wig cap it will allow the wig cap to stay in place you won't find your wig cap slipping back so my suggestion would be to cut the top and also for the top layer, I'm going to go ahead and just spray some of my got to be freezing spray. Now, the actual wig cap that is on the top, I did turn it upside down so it doesn't have the band. The band is actually to the back. This way, there is no mark of demarcation on the unit. I'm just going to go ahead and just use my blow dryer to spray the actual wig caps in place. This will also help hold the wig caps to your head. 
Now, as an extra precaution, I'm going to go ahead and use this Sally Hansen airbrush legs. This is actually for my wig cap. I don't use this on my actual wig. Um, it just made it messy. I did try that method and girl, it was so messy. But just to make it more close to my own natural scalp, I will take a makeup sponge and blend this into my wig cap. I've used the Sally Hansen spray for so many years and not for my wigs. It's actually, I do use it for my legs because I'm so self-conscious. I do have like bad spider veins in my legs so in the summertime I do use this and it works perfectly now on to the super tape this is the um I can't remember if it's called it's just low profile it's the low profile tape which means it's not glossy and shiny there is other tape that's um, a little bit thicker and you will also see a gloss I do suggest getting the low profile I did go ahead and cut the tape just because I didn't want it to overlap I didn't want it too big and I want it to be perfect and also I'm going to cut it on the sides because as you guys see I don't want any of the tape getting onto my hairline or my edges that would not work for me at all so now now I'm going to use some of the got to be in the yellow container this is just to hold the actual wig cap in place I'd rather use the gel versus glue near my edges because the gel is just an easy fix you can definitely easily wipe that away with a warm washcloth versus using the glue the glue will really get stuck in your hair and it takes a lot more work to get out but the gel is just definitely easier to remove from your own hairline especially if some gets into your hair it's just gel you don't have to worry about it sticking onto your hair so I'm going to take a makeup brush and just spread that gel onto my wig cap evenly and I'm going to take a blow dryer and blow dry this on cool. It does take about a good five minutes. The white, um, the yellow bottle will dry. Um, to me it just gets a little bit flaky so I just go ahead and use clear as well. Now I'm going to take the super tape and I'm going to place that down you want to peel the back off which has the name super tape written all over it and I'm just going to go ahead and do that as well onto the sides and I'm just going to press down with the back of a makeup brush just to make sure that the tape has adhered to my wig cap now as you guys seen I did put the tape over the gel and this is just an extra measure it will definitely hold your wig down I did wear this wig for like six days straight now I'm going to go ahead and use the clear got to be gel because this is going to be the extra barrier and I'm also going to go into like the sides and little cracks and crevices just to make sure that my wig girl is tight now I do like the clear gel a lot better because it dries like non tacky and flaky um, it will get a little bit flaky but not like the yellow bottle so I do prefer the clear plus I did notice that the yellow bottle is a little bit more greasier so I would prefer the black bottle but I got to be I'm just gonna go ahead and dry that and just go ahead and take my tweezers and take the super tape and peel off the back I do suggest using a pair of tweezers because those do come in handy or if you have fingernails then go for it girl but I would highly suggest using tweezers so that way your own fingerprints and oils from your fingers do not get on the tape now to go ahead and remove that baby let's go ahead and pull her down and take your time to make sure none of the hairs are sticking into the glue or gel or tape that you prefer to use and just hold that down you want to make sure that the gel or glue is tacky prior to pushing in your unit and you just want to press it down firmly And as extra precaution, I'm going to go ahead and use the back tail end of my rat tail comb and also the blow dryer because I want to make sure that everything is dry and in place. I'm just going to go ahead and do the front as well where the tape is at and also back to the sides. This is a long process, but trust me, I'm telling you guys, once you get this down, honeys, your wigs will lay like nobody's business and it will also stay for a few days. Make sure you watch my video of how I sleep in my lace wigs because I did feature this unit here by RPG Show and I did wear this for about five days as stated and I washed it and then I put it back on. Now this is just an extra measure. Sometimes people like to use a Q-tip and rubbing alcohol to remove the excess gel or glue from the hairline me I just take some tweezers and peel it away because I don't really want anything wet next to the hairline because I'm not trying to go back in and just re-glue or retape anything
So I'm just going ahead and now I'm going to go and make me some baby hairs in this unit. I think this unit is so pretty. I love the color. It is so rich and vibrant. Plus the density is everything. Like seriously, I think this is one of my favorite wigs by RPG Show. It definitely has to be because I have washed this wig like I stated and I have put it back on to wear to New York and I have had this wig on uh, once again probably like another five days and the only issues that I ever have with any wig is the ear tabs are on the side it may lift up a little bit that's an easy fix for me I just take some of my pump it up hairspray and I just spray it down and honey that's that that unit is still tacked down now I'm gonna just use some of my eyebrow uh, shears or eyebrow um, Razors and I'm gonna make me some baby hairs. I don't like them too long and I'm gonna tell you guys this like I do in every single video Me and baby hairs do not get along. So to sculpt them I'm gonna use some of my Dollar Tree style mousse. I actually do like this style mousse This is the second bottle I purchased um, The first bottle was not this brand and it was more or less like a black can if you like the Dollar Tree like me, trust and believe, just get this pink can because it works wonders. It's only a dollar. It's versus a dollar versus paying four. And this one works amazing. So I will be definitely stocking up on it. Now to get my sculpting brush. I call this one my sculpting brush because this is my favorite toothbrush. It has like the, the right density. The firmness of the brush bristles is perfect. It's amazing for sculpting baby hairs. Like seriously. So it's my sculpting brush okay and I'm just gonna do me more or less like some natural like baby hairs I don't really like them stuck too hard to my you know face because baby hairs are really not supposed to be stuck to your face and you're not supposed to have an overabundance of them however that's my preference how you like it is how you like it if you like it girl I love it okay like seriously if you like it I love it now just to brush down just a little bit like I said I just want it to look as natural as possible um, I don't want it too hard you know what I'm saying just a little bit of scuff girls just a little bit if I do notice that it is a little bit too crispy and hard I will definitely pull those baby hairs up because I kind of need them to like be like wispies you know and I do like the sides to be you know sculpted down like so like I'm saying look at that hairline hunties is she cute or what wasn't sure if I wanted a middle part you know I don't really do too many middle parts but this unit is still cute with or without a middle part you know what I'm saying like look at that the roots are nice and dark she is rather cute like this unit is bomb as hell okay like I'm saying I feel like a diva when I'm wearing this unit I feel so pretty okay pretty 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 RPG show has definitely done it with this one the color is gorgeous so when I did first wash it I did notice that some of the red dye came out a little bit but the unit still looks vibrant like that it doesn't rub off on your clothes or anything now I decided to put the part on my left side so I just went ahead and spritzed a little bit of water just to lay down the unit and make the parting you know more trained and I'm gonna take my barrel curler which is by Irresistible Me I love this barrel curler you guys know and it is on high 450 degrees so that's why I kind of like burnt myself and especially if you're using water to it it makes it a little bit more hotter you know you got that steam but trust me this barrel curler is everything it comes with eight different Different interchangeable wands and you know a lot of people like to melt that lace with a hot comb I have a hot comb but this one to me does the wonders like this is everything so I prefer to use this as you guys can see how nicely this laid down it's pressed out it's fleek I'm saying I'm just gonna give it a little bit of volume and flatten it right here like I'm Feeling this unit. So RPG show, you could definitely send me another one in like a blonde color. Girl, I'm definitely for this. Like, look at the hairline, honey. Like, do you even know that's the way? Like, I'm saying. So this isn't like the so much fun part right here in, you know, the video but you guys know the gist of curling your hair it's super easy you know I just like to do it super easy and fast I'm definitely going to speed through this part because I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to see me curling the entire unit 
you guys get the gist. If you do want to see a more detailed tutorial on how I curl the wigs, then you can definitely suggest that at the bottom. Now, just to tame any bit of the flyaways, I do use this Cool Way Styling Lotion. It's very lightweight and I love it. It's like, it's not thick. It's kind of like on a watery side, but it's amazing. It'll keep the flyaways and it'll also help any frizziness at the ends that you may encounter on a unit that may be dry. So if you are in the market and you do see Cool Way, you can definitely check it out. I was sent this product um, like over a year ago and I finally got around to using it and I really do actually do like it. So I use it every night. It's nothing that'll make your hair too heavy. So I'm saying y'all look at this hair hunties. Yes. Everybody was asking me what wig this was in my how to sleep video on my wig and this is it. Now I did try my translucent powder by Lancome but eh, it wasn't like the best thing in the world. So I went ahead and used a different powder and I was like mm, not really feeling that. So I went to my Sally Hansen leg spray and I took just a little bit and I sprayed it in the baggie and I just put a little bit on the brush and continued on with the process. It actually looked identical to scalp and I put it anywhere I seen any of the little tiny black knots. It actually doesn't have a lot of black knots in it which is great because you know it wasn't hard to conceal or hide so just only in small portions of the wig do you see any of the black knots as you guys see look at those sides like does it look natural or what yes hunties this is like the perfect wig by rpg show like for real they have come a long way and i will say this this one is definitely my favorite so i would highly suggest using that 40 dollars off coupon code and getting you some of this hair like for real I'm saying. So as you guys see, I definitely had to show you the ending results. This unit is tacked down for real. The elastic band does help, but you don't need it if you're going to just tack it down. It's your preference. But the hair is very flowy and it's just very stylish. I love the density of it. I love the length of it. 20 inches is more than enough. And she is styled to perfection, girls. Like, you know I had to come through with a bunch of selfies, like I'm saying. At night, I just go ahead and twist her up or braid her up into braids on the side and I do sleep with like a a wide headband on just to keep it down but I love this unit you can definitely check out RPG shows unit I'll post all of the information down below for you guys I hope you enjoyed this video stay diva and be delicious make sure you rate comment subscribe let me know what you think about how I styled this and if you want to see more videos like this make sure you thumbs it up and leave your comment I love you guys and I'll see you soon bye